show you guys what I've done basically I took the shock springs completely off so that it sits down there's nothing moving at all here so when you hit a bump or anything you got full articulation What I've done is, is basically I've just turned the shocks upside down without any springs. So that allows the body to sit down really low until you start moving. And then of course, it'll give it plenty of room to get down in there and find some traction. I did do the shock mod on the back. You can see where I've taken off the shock tires, moved it to the forward screw. Um, that allows it to do the same thing. Let's see if I can see it there. That allows everything to sit down really low. Done away with basically all of the weight on the top, all the skill accessories, done away with the spare tire on the back. Trimmed my front bumper up some just to make a better approach angle. inside added some wheel weights um, I've also added the Emacs servo change from the velcro over to a um, magnet just basically glued up a washer on top Added tail lights. Uh, went inside, took out the interior to lose that weight. Trimmed around the uh, windows. Try to get as much weight out of that top as I could. And so far, it seems to be working very well. I also added uh, the aftermarket steering arms and all there. Let's take it for a run on the course and see how it does. As most of you with the new Bronco that's box stock would know, you'd be turtled up right now. Every time you got on these little side hills. 